Let's go. 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 Good morning, men. Hold on. Wait a minute. We ain't starting like that. Good morning, men. Good morning, folks. There you go. That's better. Good morning, guys. Man, it's so good to see you guys. Uh, and it's, it's funny, Coach, like a lot of the things, like it's crazy, like Coach and I don't talk before, but like a lot of the points that he hit on, like it's similar stuff that I want to hit you with. You're going to say I'm a whole lot better. <laughs> I don't know, Coach. But uh, I, I, think, uh, I think that just shows that like we're in accord and that it's important. Right. So like if we're if we're telling you those things, we're not just giving you fluff like it's important and it's important that you do it. Right. So, again, always grateful for the opportunity to be with you guys. I know the importance of what this is, being the moment with me, uh, being interactive with me and being application mode. God always asks you to be right. Lock in. Let's have a good time with our time together. Um, but just my reflection, like coach was saying, you know, this is you know homecoming. Uh, rival game, like all of those things, right? Uh, but it's important to keep the main thing the main thing, right? Let me say that again to y'all. Make sure I see your eyes when I say this to you. It's important to keep the main thing the main thing. That makes sense, right? And so, like, man, enjoy, man, only, you're only going to be in high school once. Enjoy all of the opportunity that you have, all of that stuff that you do. But, fellas, the most important thing is the game, right? So, so keep the main thing the main thing. And so you're prepared for it. Know that you'll do great. And so last time I talked to you, I talked to you about focus. Coach mentioned about focus. And to me, I want to talk to you guys, like just my reflections, I thought about, like, the win, right? I think it's important for you all to focus on the win. And, and what I mean by win not just like winning the game, not just winning the season, but winning in life, right? And, and, and to focus on the win, you have to understand like what's important now, right? Like I don't know what's going on later, I don't, all the other, but what's important right now, right? W-I-N, win. What's important right now, you have to make sure that you focus on the win so that you get the outcome that you want to have. Does that make sense? It's got to make sure you focus on that. Um, and, and also, my reflection, too, like when I think about win, I don't think about, like, not, yes, the actual win, but, like, I think about all of the things that you've done to prepare yourself, to put yourself in the position to have the opportunity to win tonight. Does that make sense? Right? Because, like, homecoming, you got people rooting for you, people going to be there, like, like it's, Yes, it's about you, but it's, it's bigger than you as an individual, right? It's, it's about the team. It's about the family. It's about Oak Ridge. It's people that have come before you that have, that have done great things in that uniform, right? You're doing great things in that uniform to be an Oak Ridge War Eagle. Like, it's people that's going to come behind y'all, right? And, and it's important for y'all to set the tone to teach them how to win, focus in on what's important now. Right. So that's the sense of urgency, sense of focus of what it should be for you uh, when you're going to battle this evening. And so really just the reflection on the past. And this is always big, especially like homecoming time, uh, focusing on the past, realizing the importance of it, focusing on the present, which, you know, being in the moment, taking care of your business, but then also looking forward to the future and what you're going to leave behind. Because. I w would you guys agree that, you know, you want to leave a great legacy for those, those players that's coming behind y'all? Yeah, 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 for sure you should, right? Because those guys are looking up to y'all, right? They want to be you. That's just what it is, right? And so you have to remember those things and make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. And so um, I'm going to share a little story, personal story with you guys. So, man, played in high school, played four sports for four years, got an opportunity to play college football at West Texas A&M University. And so, like, I was a guy that was, like, I was really focused. There was a lot of things that was, like, in my family history, in my background, that really had me driven and focused to be on point and be the best that I could be, right? So, got the opportunity, did some really cool things in high school as far as player accolades, that's all right. But, but going into college, I knew that 
man, I want to make sure that I am the best version of myself that I could be because I don't want to be any regrets. Right? I want to make sure, like in the summer, everybody else was doing all the other stuff. I was in the weight room. I was working out. I was running late at night. I was doing all of those things to make sure I wanted to know in my heart and in my mind, I'm the best version of myself. When I get there, I'm going to give the best version of myself. And so when I got there, uh, we, they used to do these uh, running tests in college. Only they don't do that anymore. They do like position specific stuff. They, it's a little different now. But we had to do like 16 110s when we reported, right? And so, uh, yeah, and they were timed, and like everybody was fast. And so they, you lined up, and they three groups, you know, y'all know three, hit the boot, run, go. So you're running. We got to like four or five. I'm like, okay. I'm starting to see guys like kind of, like you can see their body like, yeah, they about to give it up, <laughs> right? Like you can see like they're, like, I don't know, he ain't going to make it, right? Uh, get to about six. You see guys like, I mean, like just like walking off the field, quitting. What? <laughs> like, like this, you get to about seven or eight, you like, oh, then you start having that conversation with yourself, right? You're like, man, let's go. Just one foot in front of the other, pick up the right foot. Well, it seemed like it was slow motion, like, right? It seemed like it was slow motion. It wasn't slow motion, but it felt that way, right? Like, right foot, right? It felt, it felt slow motion, but, well, I probably was slow motion because I was slow, but it wasn't, it wasn't quite slow motion. But what eventually happened, you get to about 10 or 11, and now, like, it's really a reflection in your head. Now it's like mental toughness, right? It ain't about your physical being or physical toughness. Because I've, I've done the stuff to be there, right, to compete. But now it's like it's mental, right? So now I'm thinking to myself, oh, man, this is tough, <laughs> right? Oh, man, what am I going to do? Oh, just like I was having my, that conversation, pick your feet up. But then now it got to another level. So I'm like, man, okay, then I start reflecting, and this is, this is the part where it pertains to y'all. Then I start reflecting on like all of the things that I had done to be at this moment at this time. Right? Then I start thinking about, okay, like man, all of that hard work that my family has done to set me up, all that work that my mama had put into stuff to work three and four jobs to make sure that we was taken care of to allow me to be here at this college that's 10 hours away from my home, right? All of those kids that's back at home that's looking up to me, that's saying like, man, if he come from where we come from and he can play college football, well, then I can play college football too, right? I thought about all of those things in my head in those moments, and then it made me step up and think, I can't quit. I ain't gonna quit. Because I got people depending on me, right? And I understood that it's bigger than me. It wasn't about me in that moment, right? But what happened was the ability for me to push myself through and get through that other side, it allowed me to eventually play. It allowed me to eventually get a college degree. It allowed me to eventually have a great career that I love. It allowed me to win, to be here with y'all, right? So those same things that I learned in those moments, it set me up to win in life. Does that make sense? In those same moments, it set me up to win in life. Right? And that's what I want to talk to y'all about today is like, like what you should focus on to help you win. Right? Like I said, yes, win the game. But win your season. But win in life. Right? Make sure that you win in life. And so the first thing is you have to focus on your why. And what I mean by that is, man, it's bigger than you. Y'all know that? It's a whole lot of people in this room got on blue shirts. It ain't just one person got on the blue shirt. It's about the team. It's about the family. It's bigger than you, right? Don't you know if I would have quit and gave it up, how would my mama have felt about that? She'd have been disappointed, right? That would broke her heart. I didn't quit. Because that was my why. My why was to do what I was supposed to do so that I could take care of my family. What's your why? You got to tap into what your why is and why you do what you do. Right? Because 
when you allow yourself to tap into your why, you're going to come across tough things in the game. You're going to have to adjust. You're going to come across tough things in your season. You're going to come across tough things in your life. But when you hit those tough moments, if you tap into that why, it allows you to work through those things, right? When you tap into that why, because if you don't tap into that why, you, you want to give it up because you think it's just about you. And, bro, it ain't about you. It's bigger than you, right? So we got to make sure that we tap into our why because our why gives us purpose, right? Our why gives us purpose. It allows us to do tough things. Tough people do tough things when they tap into their why. So the second thing, men, is be intentional. Coach mentioned that too. Like I'm big on like intentions. I believe that I believe that good intentions lead to good actions. Y'all believe that? Good intentions lead to good actions. I also believe that good actions lead to good success. Y'all believe that? Right? And then on top of that, I believe that intentional actions, right? Like doing it for a purpose, right? Intentional actions show that it means something to you. Right? In intentional action shows that it means something to you. And prime example is like, like people don't have to say yes to you. People don't have to be there to help you. They don't have to do that. But when people choose to do those things, to be there for you and show that they care for you and be a great teammate, well, hey, man, you got me. Let's go. You won me with that, right? So it's important for us to be intentional so that we win. And then the last thing, man, is, is non-negotiables, right? And so as you grow as men in your life, like there's some things that like you have to understand there or like there's some things that I'll adjust negotiables, but then there's some non-negotiables that like, bro, it don't matter what happened, I'm going to do that. Right. It don't matter who come in here and we play. I'm going to knock your head off, bro. <laughs> you got the ball in your hand. You're going to get it like that's a non-negotiable. Like I'm going to play hard. I'm going to give everything I got. When I leave that field and I get on the bus, I'm going to be dead. Right? Because I know I've left everything on that field. By the shadow of a doubt, I know that. I'm going to do that. And I shared with y'all before, Grant Stewart, that played here, that's in the league now. Man, that joke, I used to see him on the, like every game. Like he could hardly walk up the steps on the bus and would collapse in the front seat every game. <laughs> he gave his all. Every day in practice. He gave his all. It wasn't no slow motion, nothing. Like, bro, and if you show giving him a look and you going half speed, he going to get on your butt. The right now, it's, it's a non-negotiable. We're going to do things the right way. And so it's important that you focus in and on, on those non-negotiables and have some principles about how you do things. And y'all tell me if y'all agree with this. I believe that principles over feelings equal no regrets. Let me give you that again. Principles over feelings equal no regrets. Well, what that means, I'm going to tell you what that means. What that means is you got to have some principles in your life, how you operate, right? And when you operate in principles, like sometimes you ain't going to feel like it, <laughs> right? Like straight up, like Texas, you play football, it's hot, right? Like all of that, I'm sore. Like we've been doing this every day. Like you don't feel like it. Bro, but the principle is, I said I'm going to commit to this team and give my everything to what I'm doing. So I'm going to show my butt up, give you everything I got every moment of every day. Because that's the principle of what I believe in. That's my non-negotiable. Like when I come in here and I tell y'all I want y'all to pay attention and be interactive and apply, like that's my non-negotiable. Right? Like that's what I'm expecting. So in your life, you got to have some non-negotiables by which you operate because... When you do those things, man, you'll be, you'll be proud of yourself for what you accomplish. It allows you to win. So, so in closing, man, man, win tonight. Right? Win, win tonight. Right? Win the rest of your season. But make sure you're learning those things that you're supposed to learn so that you win in life. That makes sense, man? Yes, and so the first thing we talked about was your why. Y'all know where I'm going. What does it start with? W. w. Yep. Then I talked to you about intentions. What does that start with? I. I right? 
Then I talk to you about non-negotiables. It starts with the N. What's it spell? Win. win, man. Win. And everything you do, win. All right, so let's have a little fun. One, two, three, win. Four, five, six, you know what? Go get it, baby. One, two, three. Win. Four, five, six. Go get it. One, two, three. Win. Four, five, six. Go get it. One more time, good one. One, two, three. Win. Four, five, six. Go get it, it man. Y'all get after it. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, Coach. Go get it.